it is so time consuming to have a crush like you don't even understand like it's time consuming and I don't want to be occupying my free time thinking about men ew <laughs> Hello loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sebastiana Joyce. If you guys are new here, hello and welcome. So today I wanted to do a little chit chat, get ready with me because I am currently getting ready to go to church and I've got about 45 minutes or so, so hopefully I can get through this quickly. So I thought that I would do a chit chat, get ready with me of my ins and outs of 2024 so by the time you guys see this video it's probably gonna be like March which is still okay we're still in the new year like we're only three months in and that's a quarter of the year so we're still in that first quarter like this is still a new year like we still can set new intentions you know every day we can set new intentions we can reinvent ourselves we can you know do different for ourselves so I'm gonna do my makeup whilst I'm chatting to you guys about my ins and outs. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and yeah, <laughs> let's get into the video. So I didn't know whether to start with my ins or my outs first, but I was thinking it is called ins and out. So I saw this trend on TikTok, um, but I'm kind of like timid on TikTok right now, like. <laughs> I'm not posting much on TikTok, so I thought, let me do this for YouTube instead. So my first in is to read the word every day. So I find that this is always like top of my priority list because I'm always trying to prioritize my relationship with God. And I just believe that if I am constantly in my word, constantly seeking his face, um, then I'll be a better person. I just want to be a better person. I just want to be more like a Jesus. I want to be able to stop and think, what would Jesus do like all the time? Like I want to be more like Jesus. I want to have more of a Christ conscious in everything that I do. So I know that that can obviously only come about if I'm in my word, reading the Bible, learning, gaining wisdom and knowledge from the word because the law says, what does it say? The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge. Fools despise wisdom and instruction. So if I'm to be this wise being that I aspire to be, obviously I've got aspirations of a coach. I'm going to be putting myself in a position where, well, I'm currently in a position where I'm giving advice and I'm giving life advice and well-being tips to those around me like my clients and stuff so it's like if I'm to be successful in what I do and adjust my relationships as a human I need to be wise I need to be full of knowledge and I believe the best place for me to kind of gain that wisdom and knowledge is through the word because in the beginning was the word and the word was the God and the word was God so my next in is monthly goals and weekly to-do lists I'm pretty bad I think when it comes to setting goals for myself because I only think long term like I'm always like just thinking about the big ass goal and thinking I need to buy a house I need a new car I want to set up a business like it's very much like massive goals that I'm always just dreaming of and like putting on my vision board or writing in my journal and I struggle to break that down I struggle to break my goals down I feel like that is what kind of stops me from achieving my goals because I often procrastinate because I'm not setting myself smaller achievable goals for me to reach my long-term goal so it becomes it feels impossible somehow to like reach the goal that I've set for myself because you know the goal is just too big I'm not giving myself small achievable um, goals to go after so I've decided that I'm going to have like a monthly reset um, where I'm like reviewing the month that had just passed and also preparing for the month ahead by writing myself some monthly goals goals that I want to achieve within that month and like I'm also going to go on to some other things like and scheduling some other things as well so like really preparing for the month ahead and clearing my mind and setting intentions for the month ahead and not just letting life take me and expect myself to reach the end goal like it's that's just that's just not how it works like you need to have more structure 
in what you do especially when it comes to goals you can't just say i want to do this i want to have that but how are you going to get this exactly how are you going to realize those dreams and also weekly or daily to-do lists um because i just need to be breaking them down i had my satin bonnet on throughout the night and it created like a dent in my head so if my head looks weird it is because of my bonnet anyway so creating weekly and daily to-do lists as well will also help me keep on track and keep my focus focus so my next in is operation get fit guys i need to get fit like i feel like such a slug these days it is crazy like when i look at myself in the mirror like anyone who knows me personally knows that i've been dying to gain some weight for like since I was growing, since I became an adolescent really, like I've always found myself to be too slim. I always had comments on my body. Like everyone always perceived me as this really skinny girl with no boobs and like, you know, I just always used to get comments on my body and obviously that made me self-conscious. So I was always like dying to gain some weight. Like I always wanted to be a little thick. Like I remember taking vitamins such as like a petamin to try and gain some weight and like you know i was sleeping for like days on not day well hours on end like a petamin made me so sleepy all the time um but that didn't that didn't increase my weight like i didn't gain any weight from that at all so i was always just looking at things to do to like gain weight and guys i finally gained the weight <laughs> i finally gained the weight and boy like i wanna fix it up because it's too much right now like I've actually gained I used to be like a size 6 8 right now I'm a size at 10 maybe 12 sometimes like no 12 is a stretch I think I don't think I've ever like bought anything 12 thank god that's a massive that's it that is a massive massive jump for me like my ass fat and like my stomach big it's not flat so my plan is to just tone my body because it's all looking a bit like it's not looking structured i mean it is but it's not to be honest i feel like my main concern is my stomach i feel like my belly is very fat at the moment and growing up i've always had the flattest stomach i used to have definition on my stomach and it's like i need that back like i want my abs back because the current super situation that is going on is not cute and aside from body aspirations like I just think that I am very unfit as well like I need to be more I need to be more fit I have asthma so I get out of breath really quickly so I could be walking up the stairs for two minutes and be out of breath so I am very unfit especially due to my asthma so if I can you know improve that somehow that would be great like I need to I need to improve my my overall fitness my physical health because i feel like it's something that i've never really tackled in the way that it needs to be tackled and i remember seeing a stat one time in regards to physical health and some mental health disorders or illnesses should i say such as like bipolar schizophrenia um dementia alzheimer's and stuff like that like the less physical activity you do the more likely you are to experience one of those things so I got really shook and I always think about that it has been weighing on my mind lately because I just feel like I don't move my body enough and I need to start moving my body because I just feel like a slug and obviously I've got all this new weight now and it's like it's not that attractive it's not as attractive as I thought it was gonna be um, but everything else aside from like my stomach and stuff just needs a little bit of toning like I'm happy with like the proportions of my thighs of my bottom half yeah I'm happy with the proportions of my bottom half my back and my stomach I am not happy with so my plan is to get back in the gym get a personal trainer and really be serious about my fitness health because I've always just been in and out of the gym and never really like took it seriously like for real for real so that is my plan so my next in is something that I used to be really good at um, but obviously because of the weather and the daytime lighting it's just really preventing me from um, consistently doing it so I used to be really good for going on walks like I used to go for 
hours, one 30 minute walks like all the time. Um, especially when I started this new job back in summer, I was walking every day back home from work. It was obviously like exercise, but it was also somewhat of like self care for me and like escape because I love being in nature. I love being around the birds and the trees and you know, just being mindful in that space that was a means of like self-care for me i loved going on walks and i would always like find time to go on walks but with winter and um just uk bad weather it's just been so hard for me to prioritize going on walks because it gets dark super easily and the weather is just horrible like you just don't want to be outside in that kind of weather so i've been really bad um with going for walks and it just makes me feel so foggy it makes me feel real foggy and I feel like I don't think straight most days because I'm not getting enough air um, so my plan is to definitely prioritize walking more thank god we're in a season where it's getting lighter so I just need to start prioritizing that and I've intentionally told myself that I'd go for a walk at least two times a week being um, Saturday and Sunday um, and to also get out during my lunch break at work because we've got like this park square near work that I can just go sit down and obviously it's around nature a little bit so my intention is to start doing that and just be outside more because it's something that really benefits me mentally psychologically and physically so it's like I really want to I really want to prioritize that my next in is to reduce screen time boy i need to get through these quicker the amount of time i spend on tiktok and instagram specifically because it's just ridiculous like i could be doing so much more with my time and yeah i just need to reduce that i really need to reduce that I need to read more not only for like leisure so like you know just books but I really want to start reading more within my field so coaching psychology um, spirituality mindfulness all of that like I really want to start reading more journals more articles um, just to continuously improve I've just finished my master's degree so automatically you think oh I've done like automatically you feel like you've kind of accomplished something and like you can stop learning but I want to be a lifelong learner I want to be continuously learning and like continuously you know being informed of like new new trends new topics new frameworks like i want to be in the know if i'm to be in this career for a long time so i definitely need to start prioritizing um reading another in i really want to start being more intentional with my spending i've been all right so far but generally i am quite impulsive with my spending so i definitely want to keep that in check this year because i can't keep making the same mistakes where am i going so off of the back of that I want to start saving more and I want to start actually having budgets for myself so I've got like I've created my little notes app of everything that goes out every month um, everything that goes out every month everything that I want to budget for so that I'm not just spending 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 and before you know it it's another year of no savings <laughs> of no investment so I need to do better on the whole financial aspect of my life because I am so bad. Next in is more adventures, like planning for fun activities to do with my friends and my family. Like I really, really want to make that a focus of this year. Like I really want to start doing more fun things. So the aim is to schedule in at least one fun activity a month with friends or family because, you know, life is not just all about working and saving and making money like it's also about like enjoyment and spending time with your loved ones especially with my family i don't feel like we spend enough time like doing fun things like we're always just inside the house together getting on each other's nerves we never really do things outside of the home outside of like family things family functions and stuff like that so i definitely want to have more of an emphasis in that area this year so I really want to be more intentional with spending time with them doing fun things with them and really just having novel experiences I don't just want to be meeting up friends to like party 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 like I actually want to I actually want fun dates I want to do fun things and I don't just want to be going to day parties and stuff all the time like let's do something else you know like 
let's do something else <laughs> i also want to aim to have at least like one self-care a day or weekend a month and i'm thinking this might be part of like my monthly reset where i am you know reflecting on the previous month and planning for the month ahead so i could incorporate some self-care within that and you know just have some time for myself to take care of myself and like really like treat myself and you know just love on myself so yeah self-care is so important so some self-care activities could be like maintenance and you know taking care of my appearance it could be um doing something like i have plans to create like different types of journals so it could be something creative like just anything that is like going to bring in that intentional time for myself i also want to learn to do my own nails guys paying for nails is just so expensive like i love getting my nails done i really do like it's literally a luxury and a form of self-care for me as well but i've always wanted to learn to do my own nails and because it doesn't really look that hard i really just want to learn to do that for myself and incorporate it as self-care as well so my goal this year is to definitely learn how to do my own job set like my builder gel um and stop relying on other people to do this for me because i can definitely do it for myself next in so like i said i want to try and create like different channels and like books for myself so i really want to create like a recipe book for myself like a food journal if you will of different recipes that i've tried like my signature like my signature dishes and like really just you know try and love food more and cooking more because i don't currently i really don't love cooking and maybe it's because i'm having to like do it for like a whole seven head of people it's not a voluntary experience so maybe i can just try and switch it up a little bit and make it more fun by creating like a food recipe book a journal um another journal that i also want to create is a travel journal so i try to travel as, as much as i can like i really do enjoy traveling and just going to different places around the world and i feel like i need to start documenting that aside from pictures i really want to create a journal that reflects my travels my experiences um my learning experiences throughout these travels obviously including pictures and you know postcards different things in there just so that i can look back at this when i'm older perhaps even show my kids like look this is what your mommy was getting up to like i really want to create like more intentional memories like that and not just rely on uh, digital forms of memories i want to actually have like physical copies of my memories and like the things that i've done throughout my years on this earth another book that i wanted to create is like a scrapbook type of album of myself um because i feel like all my pictures like baby pictures and all of that they're all just everywhere like it's not in one place and i need to gather everything and put it into one album one scrapbook and just create a yeah create a photo album of my life and you know my development my involvement and my memories so definitely want to do that as well another activity that i really want to get into is creating a prayer board i really want to create a prayer board and just have something just have my prayers set in stone because you know your prayers often can obviously be different you're like on a daily basis you could be praying for different things but there are those things that are like just set prayers i'm sure everyone has like a set thing a set thing that they're praying to god about that has been ongoing for i don't know however many months or years so i really want to create a prayer board um of my foundational prayers like those prayers that are the foundation i have done like a vision board and a mood board in the past which have been great activities like they're very creative very 
you know imaginative and it can really motivate and inspire but i feel like creating a prayer board um it's just a more intentional way of um chasing your goals chasing your dreams because you're involving god obviously if you're a spiritual religious person then you know you do want to involve god in all of your plans and all the things that you're hoping for so first of all it's going to be like a self-care activity um but also it's something that i can used to inspire myself on like those down days like i can open some prayer envelopes and stuff like that like i just think it will be a really good creative activity that involves god so yeah so <laughs> so i'm laughing because my next one's kind of funny because you know i think i'm a kind person i really do like i feel like i am an, a genuine intentional caring person but when it comes to like my family my siblings my mother like i feel like i can be quite i don't know i feel like it's because i feel like i already do so much for them anyway so like whenever they ask me to do things or like ask me for favors it all it's always like <sighs> like it's always like another thing um but i really want to work on that i really want to work on doing more acts of kindness and actually just being kinder more available um yeah just doing more things for people out of like out of like you know that one that did the more kind of sound type of thing like out of the like kindness of my heart so i really want to start doing that more often i just want to exercise being more christ-like like i said in the beginning like i just want to do more i just want to reflect more of god in my life and like i want i want to physically be a representation of what god is what jesus is for me so i want to be more kind i want to do more acts of kindness and that is something that definitely enhances your own personal well-being like doing nice things for other people is a way of increasing your own happiness and your own self-esteem and self-worth so it's definitely something that i am going to try to work on especially with my family i do feel like i obviously do acts of kindness here and there but it's not something that i do intentionally so i definitely want to work on that in this new year like just being a more readily available person just doing acts of kindness like just because okay moving on to my out of 2024 number one is stop waiting to go to church to hear a word from god like to 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 hear a sermon like to hear a word because i can't obviously read the bible which i do um but sometimes you need that external voice that external like person to really break down a word to you because we all interpret things differently and i believe that's obviously part of the experience of going to church is to really hear you know a perspective of the word from someone who is obviously proficient in the word someone who studies the word and is experienced and is specialized in that type of thing so i i don't want to rely on just going to church to hear the word i really want to go out of my ways to watch like more sermons more testimonies it was something that i was actually doing really good at um at some point and i just fell off and I haven't been watching as many anymore so i definitely want to get back into that i need to stop sleeping past 9 a.m like period there's no two ways about it there's no ifs or buts like i don't want to be sleeping past 9 a.m especially on weekends because obviously weekdays i have to go to work anyway um so it's not like i can sleep past 9 a.m um but like on my days off and weekends and stuff like i need to stop sleeping past 9 a.m and i say 9 a.m that's me being nice to myself because really i shouldn't be sleeping past like 8 7 a.m because i really <laughs> i really aspire to be this morning person i don't know how many times i've spoken about it on this channel but i really dream of being this morning babe who is like active like from the jump and like is really productive of her day um it hasn't happened yet i'm still trying <laughs> i'm still trying 
Um, so me saying 9 a.m. is actually me being really kind to myself. So I really need to stop sleeping past 9 a.m., especially on weekends. I need to be up because obviously weekends I sleep later because it's like the weekend. So I feel like, oh yeah, let me treat myself and like watch so and say, like catch up and binge on whatever. But then it just catches up to me the next day and my weekend, I wake up late on a weekend and I feel like the day has basically gone and before you know it, it's Monday again and I'm back at work and I didn't really enjoy my weekend like that. So I really need to not do that anymore. Like I really need to be stricter on myself on weekends and again, not sleep past 9am. I've already said reduced screen time so I need to not spend past 30 minutes or so at a time on a social media app what the heck is that my next out of 2024 chat oh my gosh this is a read i need to stop worrying and basically stalking sometimes because <laughs> you know when you have a crush um yeah i'm quite like i think i've got quite an obsessive personality trait so whenever i'm like fixated on something whenever i like something like it's just that until i'm like until i get really bored of it again um but i find that to be so toxic especially when it comes to obviously like relationships or like you know you found someone new or something like i become quite fixated on the person and it can occupy a lot of my time and i can do a fair bit of stalking and like just constant worry about the situation and it's like why am i doing that like why am i actually doing that it's not cute it's really not cute and it's not something that I would like to engage in anymore so I definitely want to start worrying less or just not worry at all about men crushes whatever is going on in like the romantic world because it's not even like it's beyond me do you know what I mean it's literally beyond me like I need to like not worry about those things and not put such a focus and emphasis on the things that are going on because it's beyond me it's literally beyond me like I don't I don't care <laughs> like I literally don't care and that's that is the perspective that I need to have that is the attitude that I need to have because it's very time consuming to have a crush <laughs> like it's so time consuming you don't even understand like it's time consuming and I don't want to be occupying my free time thinking about men ew <laughs> my next out of 2024 is to stop smoking whether that's the mary j or whether that's vapes so i'm not really i used to be um a proper smoker like i used to this is me being completely transparent by the way um so i used to i used to be a smoker um i used to dibble and dabble <laughs> and i have actually gotten better it's been like i used, yeah anyways i don't want to go into details because some family members might be watching <laughs> but i used i used to dibble and dabble like quite frequently quite heavily um but i have definitely gotten better not i have definitely stopped it but oftentimes when i'm out having a drink um if i've like gone out with my friends or whatever like and there's like a vape nearby like i'm I'm like inclined to like buy a vape or try the vape and like I just don't think it's cute I really don't think smoking vaping all of that I don't think it's cute at all and I really want to cut it out a hundred percent from my life and like not I want to go cold turkey on it like I never want to smoke again and that is a big big statement and I'll pray that the Lord gives me strength to like deny my flesh in those situations because it is hard um but i don't i don't want to be in that habit of you know smoking although i'm not a frequent smoker um i could call myself like a social smoker sometimes but even that like i probably smoke like like what once a year like once or twice a year like i'm not like a smoker but i don't want to i don't want i don't want to double in that no longer like I don't I don't want to do that like at all even if it's like one percent of the year like I don't want to do that um I also don't want to get drunk anymore like if I'm to drink I don't want to get drunk I just want to have a light drink and like maybe be a little bit tipsy but like not drunk because 
I need to start knowing my limits and I think I have done better again over the years because I used to like get blackout drunk all the time not cute so I have definitely gotten better at that but I don't want to be getting drunk even when I'm on holiday like I don't want to be getting drunk to that extent where you know I'm getting hangovers the day after like I hate hangovers like I really really hate them and I hate waking up forgetting the night before forgetting what had happened and stuff like that like it's just not cute I just don't want that like I really don't want that for myself like I want to be able to drink responsibly so yeah I no longer want to like drink the way I have done in the past like, I've definitely improved throughout the years um but I want to be more intentional about it like I really want to like be able to go out and be intentional about not drinking as much and you know say no to certain things so I really want to do better in that aspect but I don't really drink that much anyway like if I drink I'm literally like on either opposite ends so I'm literally I'm either like not drinking at all or I'm drinking and I'm like drunk drunk so it's not that I'm always drinking, but when I do drink, I'm overdoing it. So I really don't want to be in that habit anymore and just be a classy, light drinker. Do you know what I mean? Like, you don't always need to do too much. Joyce. Road rage. Oh my gosh, guys. I feel like since like my tech job that I used to like drive up and down the bloody country for, exaggeration, but I used to have this tech job and I actually was practicing more patience and calmness on the road um, but since that job I feel like I've just gone back into my old habits of like just being really impatient and angry at other road users and it's not nice it's not nice for myself it's not nice for anyone else and it doesn't help the situation like I definitely need to improve my driving I need to be less of a speeder more of a patient driver because it's not cute every excuse for me every reasoning for me is just it's not cute like it's not cute it's not how I want to be reflected it's not what I want to be known for it's not <laughs> it's not it's just not something that I want to be attached to my person so I definitely need to calm it down on the road rage and it's not that I get super angry I just get really impatient and I take things personally like if someone cuts in in front of me I will take that personally if someone like tries to like cheat its way out of traffic like it gets on my nerves and it's like why are you doing that why are you trying to cut in front of me when you know there's a queue like why I just get real mad and stuff so it's like yeah I don't like that <laughs> I definitely need to practice more calmness and patience on the road next is just impatience full stop like that needs to come the heck out in 2024 I know that I am a very impatient person and this actually runs in my family I wonder if this is some kind of like generational trauma type of thing I don't know what it is I feel like my whole household is just a bunch of impatient fools like we're all just so impatient with with each other and regarding things and it's like why what is the urgency <laughs> what is the urgency and it's like a generational thing because I see it in my little siblings like the younger ones and it's like why is everyone out like that like why do you act like that like what's going on here what kind of generational chokehold is this on impatience um, but we're all really bad for it and it's not cute another out of 2024 is gossiping I've definitely gotten better at like gossiping I'm not like I'm not like a, a malicious gossiper it's more so like oh my god do you hear what's going on blah 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 like just keep it up to date and just thing with the girls like I think just thing and gossiping is just a very it's a very human thing to do like it's just a very human thing to do like there's bloody businesses on like gossip pages on and like blog pages like it's all surrounding gossip and like other people's life and like what other people are doing and it's like that's just the culture like it's literally just and it's in every culture like in every culture you know the people want to know what's going on <laughs> do you know what I mean but it can obviously sometimes be very negative and detrimental to not only yourself to like be engaging in that kind of behavior and activity but also for other people like you could be spreading misinformation and stuff like that so it's not cute 
again it's really just not cute that's literally the basis of it and i think me and my friends have definitely gotten better at it i remember like college days like it was so bad like <laughs> it was so bad it was really bad but shout out to us because i really do feel like we have gotten really better at it but i feel like ever since i've gotten back into the office like working um in the office i've engaged in a lot of like work gossip and it's not i don't like it i really don't like it especially because these people like they're so two-faced and like you just can't trust them like you just can't trust these people for anything and it's like why am i engaging that kind of chat with them because if anything it could come back to me and like you know like i just don't want to i just don't want to be involved in that i don't think it's cute and i don't think it's like a great use of my time really and truly need to take it down especially work gossip like i don't want to be i don't want i don't want to know like maybe i do want to know but i don't want to opinionate like i don't <laughs> i just want to be be in the know but not know like i don't want to be saying things like i don't i don't want to be involved essentially my last out of 2024 that i've gotten down here is complaining i need to stop complaining i find that i can be a really bad complainer um especially because like i mentioned earlier like with family i feel like i always i'm always i'm already doing like a lot for everyone and like i'm basically a second mum to the family so it's like i already feel like this huge weight on my shoulders so like whenever i'm asked to do anything or asked of anything extra it's always straight into complain mode and i don't think that's cute i don't think that's christ-like i don't think god would be proud of my actions so i definitely want to start be more aware of my heart position and like the way I approach certain situations um, because it's not everyday complain sometimes just get on with it like why am I complaining you know and again it just doesn't help the situation like in any way in any sense so what am I really complaining for do you know what I mean it's only making me more aggy and frustrated than anything else so it's anything I don't want to be in life is a complainer it's not cute so yeah so guys that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it those are my ins and out for 2024 comment down below and let me know what you guys are taking out and bringing in this year remember we're still in the first quarter so there's definitely still time to change things up and reinvent yourself so yeah i hope you guys really enjoy this video make sure to give me a thumbs up leave a comment share subscribe all of that good stuff and i'll catch you in the next one ciao